Nova Hortus, once known as North America, now under control by one beneficial man. His name was Mitchell. And now the story of how Mitchell destroyed the governments through peaceful protest. And now we have the tyrant, here to explain how he came to power. I... I'm not really sure. I was just sitting on the park bench one day, and... I don't know, it all just happened so quick, I don't... Fear ran rampant in society during its transition from the totalitarian fist of democracy to Mitchell's loving palm. I've been hiding down here for I don't know how long. I'm running low on food and menacing Mitchell. He's terrorizing. He's, he's frightening. I don't know how much longer I can take it down here. How did you find me? Is he with you? Don't tell me he is with you. I can't. If he finds me, if he finds me, I, I don't know what I would do. You have to help me. You don't understand. You have to. The, the risk. This man. There's, he's dangerous. He's a. Mitchell's joy was not shared by all people during the takeover. Yeah, when uh, Mitchell took over, things went to hell. Families were torn apart, houses destroyed, entire cities leveled. It was destruction after destruction. It was anarchy, complete and total anarchy. I can't, for something so peaceful, it went so terribly wrong. Terrible. I remember when all this started, the, the very first week, I, I ran into a kid. He had told me that his parents had abandoned him, that they uh, had gone rabid, started eating all the wildlife around the house. It was weird because it was an urban, urban household. And the sad part is that kid was only, was only four years old. The opinions that Mitchell's subjects had of him ranged from love to downright detest. Here's what an expert had to say. I came in like a I never hit so. Oh, sorry. This is one of the finer classics of our generation. I'll tell you a little bit about Mitchell, as I've been studying the ways of taking over power for many years, and he seemed to accomplish it in simply a few hours. Anyways, enough about me. Mitchell is is one of the one of the finer men to take over power. You see, he did it in such a way that has never been seen before in all of human humans' history. It's it's quite a phenomenon the way he took to power, and so much power at that too. He, he used such finesse and skill. Now imagine it as something like a, a coup d'etat, but, but more elegant, more beautiful. There was something pleasing about the way he took over power. And, and now many people argue that Mitchell is a, a, a dumb person and doesn't know how to see left from right, but I believe Mitchell is one of the most intelligent human beings to ever have walked this planet. He exemplifies the true intelligence that humans strive for. And it's only because of that that he's made it to power, because he is so brilliant and so precise in his actions. You see, it took him, it took him such little time to reach, 
achieve such such great power and it's never been seen before. No? Um, uh, yes, you, you wanted to know the rest of the song? It, well, I'll go, it goes like... I came in like a... So how has your life changed since you took power? It's kind of the same. I, I got this cool ping pong table though. I mean, you see my big rig right there? That bad boy. Yeah, that's all mine. How does it? How is it being the supreme emperor? I I wouldn't really say I'm the emperor. More like a father figure for these people. Like I was there for them when they needed me. I nurtured them. I I basically breastfed them. You can call me their mother figure for all I care. I'm not some sexist person. I'm I'm just mother and father right there for you. And so Mitchell ruled for 30 years, until the day he was served escargot. He died within three days.